Welcome to African Horizon. So yesterday, Laurent Gbagbo returned to Abidjan in the Ivory Coast in West Africa after he was acquitted on charges of crimes against humanity at the ICC in The Hague. Now the question is what's going to happen in the Ivory Coast? Well, here's a little background first. Laurent Gbagbo was president of the Ivory Coast from 2000 until 2011. However, the Ivory Coast saw a civil war from 2002 until 2004. And again, a civil war broke out in the Ivory Coast in 2011 when Laurent Gbagbo refused to resign from office after he lost election to Alassane Ouattara, who then became president after French forces arrested Laurent Gbagbo at his house in Abidjan and sent him to the ICC in The Hague. Now the question is what's going to happen? Well, this is a critical point for the Ivory Coast. Either, you know, Laurent Gbagbo and Alassane Ouattara are going to be able to meet you know, for maybe some national reconciliation process going forward because Gbagbo's return to the Ivory Coast, while it provides an opportunity for national reconciliation, also kind of uproots old wounds. So this is kind of making the situation even more tense and the risk level is definitely now increasing in Abidjan and in other cities around the Ivory Coast. In addition, the regional climate is at a critical point because there are terror movements in the Sahel region which could also exploit potential instability and unrest in the Ivory Coast by crossing the border in the north from Mali and Burkina Faso. Therefore, the Ivory Coast, you know, also bordering Ghana to the east and Liberia and Guinea to the west it's at a critical geographic location in West Africa. Therefore, going forward, it's going to be critical for Gbagbo and Ouattara to meet, form some kind of national reconciliation process and thereby enable stability in the Ivory Coast going forward because the Ivory Coast is also experiencing, you know, experiencing the corona pandemic, which just kind of creates an even more challenging situation for the country. Therefore, going forward, it's really critical now that the Ivory Coast builds on the situation by go, you know, building a movement of national reconciliation, stability, and maybe creating a national congress or a national conference. And Gbagbo and Ouattara should definitely meet, and that could you know, potentially also calm protesters down in the near future. So this is a critical point, could go both ways, but remains to be seen. Well, thank you so much for joining African Horizon, and I definitely look forward to see you again. And please remember, remember to subscribe to African Horizon. Thank you.